there, Nick and Tesla readers. I am Science Bob, co-author of the Nick and Tesla series of books. Whoa. Okay. All right. Can we get those out of the way? Thank you. Today we're going to dig in with yet another gadget building project. This time from Solar Powered Showdown, where we will be building our very own solar powered alarm clock. Let's dig in. Now, most of the things that you need for this, you probably have at home, and it's really not that hard to build. You're going to need a wire coat hanger, a scrap piece of cardboard, some small brass fasteners, a paper clip, some electrical tape, some needle nose pliers, although regular pliers should do the trick, some scissors, and a small micro vibrating motor. Now these you can usually find at electronic stores, or you can always get one online. You're also going to need a small nut that will fit over the spinning part of the motor like this. You're also going to need a hotel style bell. Those you can usually pick up at a stationary store. Some scrap pieces of wire and a solar cell. Now, there's a lot of solar cells out there, but since our motor is three volts, you're going to want to find a solar cell that puts out about three volts. This one is 3.6 volts and it should work just fine. And lastly, what every good young inventor needs, a hot glue gun. You always want that around. All right, now remember, all of the instructions are right here in the book, so let's get started. To get started, we need to prepare the motor. To do that, you're gonna take a little bit of the plastic off of the ends of each wire. These are really thin wires, so I was able to do that just using my fingernails. Then you're gonna wanna take your glue gun and put some glue over the wires where they connect to the motor. Then what you want to do is hot glue that nut onto the spinning part of the motor. But you do want to make sure that the motor can still spin even after you glue it on. Okay, for step number two, you're going to want to get your wire coat hanger and something to cut it with. Usually most pliers, in this case needed on those pliers, also have a wire cutter. So, we take that and we're going to cut off the bottom section of the wire. All right, now it's time to take that coat hanger and form it so that it's the shape of the base of the bell. Once you have that done, you want to take it and bend it 90 degrees so that the curve is on the bottom and the rest of the wire sticks straight up. Now it's time to glue gun the hanger onto the bell. Now here's a quick little tip. Hot glue cools off very quickly when it touches metal. So when you're using hot glue and metal, make sure you're working fast. Great, now it's time to attach the motor. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to bend your hanger so it bends right over the bell in kind of a parallel line. Then, take your motor and your hot glue gun and hang it down from the wire so that it just barely touches the bell. Hot glue it in place on the coat hanger and hold it in place while the glue cools. When you're done, the motor should just barely be touching the bell in the middle. If it's too far away or too close, you can always adjust it, but it should look like this. Okay, now it's time to wire the whole thing together. You're gonna need to take the plastic off the ends of the wires, so let me give you a quick little tip to do that. What you want to do is take your scissors and leave about a centimeter from the end of the wire and spin the scissors around. With a little bit of practice, you should be able to just cut off the end and then with some pressure, you get a perfect wire poking out. Begin by twisting the wire from the motor onto one of the wires that you just removed the plastic from. Then do the same with the black wire. Use some electrical tape to hold those in place so that you know they won't come unraveled. Now it's time to make a switch for your alarm clock. Take one brass fastener and punch it through the cardboard. Then take the other fastener, but this one you want to poke through the paper clip before it goes through the cardboard. And you want it about an inch or two and a half centimeters away. Take one of the wires and wrap it around the bottom of the brass fastener. Then take one of the wires that's not attached to anything and attach it to the other brass fastener. When you're done, it will look like this. 
time to add the solar panel wires to the remaining wires in the alarm. All right, now wrap it all together with some electrical tape. All right, now we can clean things up a little bit by hot gluing the switch to the base of the bell. All right, let's do a quick check. Our motor is in place, our switch is in place, and our solar cell is ready. Unfortunately, I don't have the sun here in my laboratory right now, but luckily, I do have a ridiculously strong light. Oh, gosh. Let's go ahead and switch it on and give it a try. Look at that, it's working! It's really annoying, but it's working! All right, Nick and Tesla readers, there you go. You have built your very own solar-powered alarm clock. Now, whether you use it for escaping from villains or just waking up in time for school is completely up to you. Remember, all the instructions are in the book, and we have more videos and instructions at nickandtesla.com. So, for now, this is Science Bob saying, never stop exploring. <music>